Hi, this is Warren Redlick from Fair DUI. I wanted to talk to you about understanding the difference between an order and a request. You're going to be in a police encounter, you're in a situation, you're sitting in your car, and a police officer is going to walk up to your window, as I'm about to show you, and the police officer says something to you, and you have a decision to make. And you're, keep in mind, you've held up this flyer that says, I remain silent, no searches, I want my lawyer. The police officer sees that, and the police officer says something to you. And you have to distinguish between an order and a request. Let me show you this encounter. Here comes the officer. I show him the flyer. He makes a gesture, which you can't see on the video, unfortunately, to roll down your window. And I make, make it more easy for him to see the flyer. I put it up in his view, and he calls another guy over. The other guy comes over, and he asks to see my license. And I show him my license. And then he goes and checks on something. So here's the distinction. Which the tricky part is when the police officer goes like this to me. Is that an order? It's not a clearly stated order. I can't tell whether that's an order or a request. If it's a request, my advice is to not concede to the request. If he says, please roll, if he says, please roll down your window, that's a request. You don't have to roll down your window on a request. If he says, roll down the window or else I'm going to smash it in, for most people who don't want their window smashed in, you're probably going to want to roll down your window at that point. And that's a key distinction. The reason this matters is because as your lawyer, if the police officer gives an unlawful order to roll down your window or something else, then I now have something to challenge in court to defend you. If he gives a lawful order, well, then we're going to lose that argument later. But at least I have the argument, at least I have the opportunity as your lawyer to challenge the police behavior there. If you simply roll down your window without being asked or you roll it down on a mere request, then I, as your lawyer, have lost that argument. I can no longer argue, hey, they violated his Fourth Amendment rights when they made him roll down the window. I want to be able to make that argument because they generally do not have a good reason to order you to roll down your window. Now, at the same time, the police officer asked to see my driver's license. It wasn't an order, show me your license or else. You couldn't hear it on the video, but I was there. He said, may I see your license, please? And I showed it to him without being ordered. And the issue there is, as I read Florida law, and I think most states' law, you are required to show your license and other paperwork upon request. It doesn't have to be in order. So, and I just think at this point, I'm not trying to create unnecessary confrontation with the police. The police asks me something, ask, officer asks me something that I think he is entitled to, like seeing my driver's license, my registration, my insurance, my title, my concealed carry license, whatever it is. On that kind of request, I'm going to show them what they ask for. But that's the important distinction I want people to understand, the distinction between an order and a request. If a police officer asks you to roll down your window, he says, sir, would you please roll down your window? Sir, would you mind rolling down your window? Those are requests, and you shouldn't do it. If the police officer orders you to roll down your window, sir, I'm ordering you to roll down your window. Hey, roll down your window or else. He swears at you. Roll down the window or else I'm going to kick your ass. Whatever it is. If you don't roll down your window, I'm going to arrest you. Those are orders. If it's clear that it's an order and you should be recording the encounter like I'm recording it here, if it's clear that it was an order, the police will not be able to say later that you voluntarily did it, that you consented to it. It will be clear to the judge, to any jury, whatever you're, whoever you're explaining this to, that this was an order and now the police are in the position of having to explain why they gave that order and to justify whether it was lawful or not. So that's an important thing, the difference between an order and a request. Thank you.